is back. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. God bless High Lie. Have you missed us? Have you been blessing High Lie in the interim? Hmm? I bless it every day, each and every day. Lord, bless High Lie. God bless High Lie, ladies and gentlemen. That's us. We're here. We're back. And so are your Sesta Cyclones. We back, baby. We already in second place, two games in, two game days down, wins. This is the Fan Levitard Show, the fastest growing Dan Levitard Show fan YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, follow us for all your Levitard Show and High Lie needs. We do it all, folks. God bless football, the award-winning podcast. They can talk about doing other God bless golf, God bless baseball, but the only successful offshoot of God bless football is God bless highlight, ladies and gentlemen. We out here doing it every season, and we back again season four. Did you think we weren't? Because we is. Because that's how I be. Now, those Cyclones, I love the start we're off to, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm? Hmm? 2-0, Manu. Looking good. All those people out there saying take Douglas. Mm. Making them look like fools, Manu. Keep it up. Carbio, love it. Ikeda, looking good. Although, tough, uh, tough, tough match for him today. A um, little bit more on that later. But the Cyclones are back, ladies and gentlemen. 2-0. and This feels like we're prime for a run. You don't want to play the Cyclones right now. Because we're hot. And we haven't even gotten all our players on the court. Jedden hasn't seen any action yet. Can't wait to see him get on the floor. But ladies and gentlemen, there's some more stuff going on now. We got five teams. There was five teams last season, but we have new owners. We got old Jorge Masvidal owning the Day Hada Devils. Hey, they're in uh, second place. That's who we're tied with. Cyclones, Day Hada Devils. Uh, Robote Renegades round out your top three. And who's the owner of those Robote Renegades, you ask? Well, that's no one other than the OG, the leading rebounder in Miami Heat history, Udonis Haslam, UD. Now, Chris Cody out here calling him out. Chris Cody wanting to become part of that Asalytics there. Careful. He's Chris Cody, our owner, always stirring stuff up, giving people bulletin board material. He gives the Wall Warriors bulletin board material last year, and what do they do? They sweep us. We didn't win a single game day against the Wall Warriors. They spanked us. And part of that, I blame you, Chris Cody. You need to settle down a little bit. Don't don't call out UD just yet. Don't give a memo. Call him out after we play him, okay? Get with it. But we got new owners. Sports growing. Ray Lewis. He's he's overseeing it. You know? Uh, maybe he's gonna show up at the Fronton one of these days, huh? Would love to to meet him if I ever go back to a Fronton since I'm all the way across the United States. But the Cyclones are back, ladies and gentlemen. Today's match. We didn't uh, have as dominating a win as our first one, uh, four to three and a half points. So just eked out a little bit of a win. But really, folks, the Chargers got lucky. We had Bueno going up against uh, Rock, and Bueno was up 5-1 with set on the line. Couldn't close it out. Rock came back 6-5-1, took the one point. Ikeda, same situation, up on spinner. Final... Set, match, yada, yada. Got to brush up on my high lie terminology here. But a 5-0 on spinner. The Giannis Antetokounmpo of high lie. You see this guy serve? Every single time he serves, he does the same walk. I was unaware of this. He does the same pattern where he like walks, makes like a right angle, walking, serving, then like bounces the ball, does these little steps, takes forever. Get a pitch clock. I don't have all day to watch Spinner serve every single time. And 
it got ridiculous at one as he was making this run. Like literally the last two points, he would make his whole walk like farther and farther. It was like he'd score his point. And then all of a sudden the spinner is like walking all the way down to like the seven line, like halfway, then turning around. Ikeda is basically doing like a Steve McQueen in the corner with the pelota acting like he's in the cooler, bouncing the ball, waiting for spinner to walk back up the court, make his little turn ridiculous but i guess a little gamesmanship that maybe got in ikeda's head i don't know spinner was frustrated in that last set i don't know what was going on with him he was shouting yelling but he ended up taking away that was another point if we get those two points man that's a huge now another six to 1.5 and that'd be the chargers getting taken out like they were just this close to having another horrible nightmare game day but they end up squeaking out those two more points to make the game day look a little bit more respectable. And honestly, the one, the other one with Manny and Ikeda, that was close to back and forth. You got Manny running around all over the place. If you check our social medias on the TikTok, Fan Levitard's on the TikTok now. If you check us out on the Instagram, cut that up real quick when I saw that. I'm like, that's gold. Manny, love you, Manny. You're going to get your points. He, I don't, I don't think he's won a, a match yet, partners or solo. But I got faith in Manny. You know, Manny, I'm always with you, brother. But what about those former Cyclones? Where are they now? Hmm. Where's Correa? Where's Bradley? Where's Flores? How about a little bit of new faces? Or sorry, old faces, new places. Ladies and gentlemen, Correa, he's a wall warrior now. Bradley, he's a wall warrior too. Flores, Charger. And this has been Old Faces, New Places. How about that, huh? I bet you were probably wondering where are they and surprised to find out where they are. Could be a part of the reason why both those teams are struggling. Although I don't think Flores has really played all that much. And who knows? Season is young for Wall Warriors. But actually, I'm calling it. Wall Warriors trash. We are going to mop the floor with this team when we play them. And it's personal. You don't need to know why it's personal. But if you're a part of the clone clone cartel, you know why it's personal. So I'm not going to explain it. Only the clone cartel out here is going to get what I'm saying when it's personal. You know exactly why it's personal, why we've got an axe to grind with the wall warriors. But we're going to take it to them this year. I'm calling it. We're going to win every game day against these dudes. Okay? I wanted to say something else like chumps, but I, I held back. Dudes. We're going to beat those dudes. Guys, I also have a sad announcement. If you followed this podcast, followed me on the social media, you've been hearing me talk about Hynalytics or Hyalanics. I don't even remember the other way that I said it. I said over the summer, I was going to create analytics. That was my whole plan. Over the summer, I was going to spend time rewatching games I didn't logging it into my little spreadsheet and I was going to send the data over to the boys before the draft. Well, guess what? I decided to do the whole summer of me remaking the club. Never. That was a lot of work. Did not get to watching as much highlight as I had anticipated. And now folks, I'm here to tell you until further notice, Hynalytics is dead because I just don't have the time it takes a lot of time. I mean, I got to sit down, watch every single thing and like slow it down because I'm trying to log every single catch, throw, figure out pad is bad percentages, figure out kill shot rate, calculate all that. And that's just me typing it into a spreadsheet that I had to and put all the formulas in and all that. No, nothing complicated. But I'm here to tell you Hynalytics is dead because I just don't have the f- four plus hours or the energy that it would take for that. Am I going to do some battle court highlights? Maybe. I don't know. I did that back in season. Was that season two that I was doing that season three? We did the promos. I love the promos. I have a couple actual promos that 
I have in my head that I want to make to create some hype around this season in the Cyclones. Uh, just haven't gotten around to it. But speaking of hype, where is the hype for this team? 2-0, and off to a great start. One of the best stories of this season. Where is the engagement? Mike Fuentes, I, aren't you the head of social engagement? Well, what are you doing? Why some dude all the way across the country in Lancaster hyping up this team? Are you a part of the clone cartel, Fuentes? Then where is the clone engagement? Are you growing the clone cartel? Because all the Lebetard show talks about is the Colorado Buffaloes. You have put this big investment into the Sesta Cyclones, and they're taking off with a great start to the year. We need to rally the city of Miami, Dade County, everybody behind this team ASAP because in this attention economy that's fighting for everyone's attention, Fuentes, you've got to create some engagement. Quit talking... Bring it up on Mystery Crate, Fuentes. All right. Talk some Cesta Cyclones. Spread the word. Create some engagement for this team. Do your job. All right, folks. I've said my piece there. This team deserves to be hyped up and spread around. It's a shame that they're not a major storyline across the country. But anyways, it's time now for Nathan's Top Hi. All right, Clone Cartel. It's time for Nathan's Top High. OLI. Cyclones already look like a playoff caliber team. That's right, looking good. Tied for two. Should be number one. Winning all their game days. We're back, baby. Number five. Manny's still got a little something in the tank. You see that kid, Scoot? He's the new 40-plus pro go. Step aside, Brady. You wear those tiny jerseys. I'll watch Manny kick it all over the court. Number four. Cyclones won the draft. Clear as day. Bueno, best pickup. All those haters out there saying, don't get Manu, get Douglas. Yeah, Manu made him meet their words week one. Taking down Douglas. All right. Number three. Chargers are about to find out how hard it is to go back to back. Haven't won a game day. Looking rough. I don't think they're going to make it even to the playoffs. You heard it here. Lucky run last year. Just captured a little bit of that magic. Magic City Highline. Number two. Wall Warriors. Trash. One game in. All they got is one and a half points. Going down to the day hot at Douglas. It's over. They swept us last year. I'm saying it. We're sweeping them this year. Nathan's top high, number one. Manu, Carvalho, are in sync. Oh man, you see this post-game interview? Got their arms around each other, talking it up. Love it. Guys are in sync, if they're in sync, sky's the limit for the Cesta Cyclones. Clone Cartel, let's ride. All right, folks, that's going to do it for us. The very first inaugural episode of God Bless Highlight has come to a close. Thanks for joining us. Remember, subscribe, comment, like, do all that jazz. And hey, take a look in the podcast description. You can now donate to the Fan Levitard Show and God Bless Highlight. We're looking to continue to grow the show. We're looking to have more guests looking to try and go live with stuff if you like what we if you like what we do if you appreciate it send us a beer send us a coffee small little donation little things thanks for all the ways that you support us and as always don't forget god bless highlight nasty nate out